I want to conclude by uh, commenting on the fact that between 2002 and 2007, we've seen this explosion of, uh, of securities and collateralized debt obligations backed by risky subprime loans. And it was important to those who were involved in these new, very complicated securities to get the ratings that would allow them to sell them. And in doing so, they they didn't simply ask you for the ratings. They worked very closely with you in designing the way they would structure the finance deals so that they could get the ratings. And and, um, and you gave them uh, ratings, and in many cases, AAA ratings that people relied on. Now the bottom has fallen out. And we are, are paying an enormous consequence in our economy. Uh, and I do submit to you that... Uh, this has been very profitable for the rating companies and for the executives as well. But uh, it could be because you got higher fees when you, when you rated some of these uh, securities backed by a pool of home loans. But I think we've seen this failure of the credit rating agencies to help the consumers make a decision. And I just want to review some of the key phrases used in your own documents, we drink the Kool-Aid, uh, Fitch and S&P went nuts, no one cared because the machine just kept going, we sold our soul to the devil for revenue, it could be structured by cows and we would rate it, let's hope we are all retired by the time this house of cards falters, any request for loan level tapes is totally unreasonable. These are the things we got from the documents from your businesses. And each one shows a complete breakdown in the credit rating agencies. So I, uh, I, I think that uh, we have a very disturbing picture. Uh, you weren't the only ones at fault, but you were the gatekeepers and you worked very closely with others who were benefiting as well. The explosion of these new, very complicated securities is something very new, but we also have something that's very old, uh, greed and self-interest pushing forward a lot of people to do things that, uh, in, in hindsight, certainly they would they regret having done, but also you would have thought that since it was all, since this was all based so much on very, very... Um, shaky undergirdings of these uh, loans that um, one would have thought that maybe somebody should have stood back and said, well, wait a minute, as did some of the people in your, in your companies. Uh, we're, we're, we're holding these hearings uh, uh, because we want to learn what happened and get something worthwhile out of all of this for reforms for the future. And I think, uh, as you've all indicated, reaching reforms will be needed to restore any confidence in the credit rating business. So I thank you again. That concludes our business, and we stand adjourned.